So hello, hi everyone. Today we are going to see how to do land use land cover in ArcGIS. So first of all, we are going to add our data. So I'm going to use band number two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just add this data here. So as you can see, I have added my data right here. These are my bands. It is from band number one to brand number seven. So the next thing is that we are going to do our uh, image analysis. In that we are going to do uh, image composite through which these uh, seven bands are combined together and uh, giving us a output. So with that we are going to do our land use land cover mapping. So first of all, for that select imagery So select the seven image arrays available. For doing, so I have selected the seven imagery. Now I'm going to composite together. So this is a tool from where we are going to join the bands together. So just click it. So within minutes, the process will be completed. As you can see, my composite as image has been come out here. So the next thing is that I am going to remove my other bands right here. So you can see this is the composite image of the steady area. So as you can see, right now I have uh, converted my uh, satellite imagery to uh, true color composite. Then from there I have converted my uh, image to a uh, false color composite so I haven't uh, shown you right here but you can just change it here and you can check the uh, arrangements and accordingly you can set the false color composite so now we are going to save this image because it's been saved in the temporary file so we need to save the data export data So I'm going to check the file format right here. So now I'm going to export it. Go to the option data from there, select export data from there. So just select your output file. So Right now, I'm going to create my file. Just add it. And if you like to give some other name, you can just change it right here itself. And you can change the file format to here. And just save it. So as you can see here, I have exported my image and just added into my ArcGIS. So right there, we are, we are, not, we are going to do the uh, land use land cover for this image. For that, right now, we are going to select customize. From there, go to the option ex extensions. From there, select spatial analysis tool so that uh, we can uh, work with the image, uh, image classification tool. So the, the next thing is that click on, right click on the, the top position from there go to the image classification so you can select you can see that automatically the image has been selected so now we are going to do our LULC so as you can see this is the tool this is called as a training sample manager through which you are going to give a signature using the polygon tool right here so I'm going to click on this uh, polygon tool for doing my digitization, for extracting the extracting the value of this uh, feature, right now I'm going to start with the water bodies. So you, if you open this uh, training sample manager, it's automatically added. Just close it. 
and uh, make for doing a better uh, classification we need to select a, a better or a large number of samples so that it will be more accurate doing the LULC so right now you can see I have selected around uh, five uh, so different water bodies from the satellite imagery for doing my analysis so the next thing is that we are going to merge it together just select by uh, pressing control button and just uh, use this option merge the training samples and just give a uh, water bodies or uh, whatever you like water bodies I'm going to give it so the next thing is that we are going to do it for the other uh, areas like uh, this is my uh, barren land like that we are going to uh, collect the sample across the satellite imagery so I have added another five fields for this uh, barren lands and just going to merge it together And next is that I'm going to define it for this high vegetation and uh, moderate vegetation. With that, I'm going to end up my uh, LULC. So this, these are my uh, uh, high vegetation region. The high vegetation regions can be found out uh, using the visualization. If the red color is darker, it's high vegetation. And uh, if it's uh, light in color, it's a uh, uh, low vegetation or uh, it can be a agricultural area as well. Next is my, next is I'm going to do it for low vegetation or agricultural area. So as you can see the lighter patches, which is going to be coming under, a, a, it's going to be coming under a moderate vegetation or low vegetation so make sure you collect a lot of samples so that the result will be more accurate and better so now I'm going to combine it together I'm just going to give it as vegetation so with this I'm going to do my LULC so the next thing is this save your file save your signature file I have created a separate folder from there I'm going to save it yes okay the next thing is that just uh, close it or uh, just close it then the important instruction is that try to minimize the area while doing the land use land cover because usually it occurs uh, when we do for it uh, do, when you are doing for a large area it automatically comes that an error comes which states that the uh, memory is full so try to uh, do the land use land curve for your uh, study area itself not uh, beyond that it will be crashing so ne the next thing is that uh, I have uh, saved the file now we are going to go to the classification from the select intera interactive supervised classification so as you can see here the results have been out so the next thing is that we are going to change the color select accordingly so as you can see here the classification has been uh, done correctly and uh, you can see the water and uh, barren lands high vegetation region and uh, low vegetation region so it's a, such a simple way to do the land use land cover for any region so thank you for watching my video keep supporting me